Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be going over the Kiali version 1.88 sprint release. Today is July 22nd. So we're going to go like our normal. We're going to do a summary, uh, the highlights of what we did this sprint, and then do a quick preview of what's coming up next. So the summary is uh, nothing really earth shattering here. Most of the work is being done in the server. Uh, we have done some small amount of work in the plugin and the operator, but this sprint was all about the server. So our highlights, some notable changes. We'll go down this list. So we have uh, new validations going uh, for cross namespace validations. This is for the gateway work that we're doing. We deprecated some uh, settings in the config. We're, uh, this is part of the audit detection work that we're doing. We're audit detecting these components now. So we've deprecated these settings. You can still set these settings if you need to override it for some reason, but these are deprecated. We are audit detecting things now. Uh, for ambient, uh, with some more ambient work. So we've got some uh, new identification of the workloads when we're working with waypoint proxies. So this is just more of the ambient stuff marching forward. Uh, one of the defaults that we've changed, this is a big change, is we've turned tracing off by default. Um, this is going to affect the Kiali add-on, I believe, um, unless we turned it off. I can't remember we turned that off in the in the add-on that's released with the Istio release. But when you install Kiali now, tracing is going to be off by default. So if you do want to enable tracing, it's a it's an additional config step you got to do. Uh, we're displaying version information in the new mesh page. So this is mesh page work that's continuing to move, um, move forward. We're showing some tempo version information in there. Uh, the React router is moving to v6. This is some internal refactoring of the front end code. So this is the uh, part of the UI that's getting updated internally. Uh, some pattern fly changes. Uh, pattern fly is the UI um, framework. And so we've aligned some of the components in the UI to follow the pattern fly guidelines. And we did some uh, hack script updates. This is more for testing. This really isn't for our end users, but we are, uh, did some additional work for our testing infrastructure. Some bug fixes. This uh, involved the first one involves our multi cluster uh, features. There was a bug in the overview page when you refreshed it. Some of the data was not showing up correctly while it was refreshing. That bug has been fixed. Um, some validation messages. This is just looks like it's just some minor stuff. The uh, validation messages had to be uh, fixed on the config page. We removed some label values in the CR config. This, this again, has to do with us um, cleaning up the config and removing some duplicates. The, uh, this next one, the replicas one, uh, this was actually reported by someone in the community where if you're using HPA, the horizontal pod, I forget what the A means, <laughs> uh, when you're, uh, changing the replicas using HPA config. If you also specified the replicas in the Kali CR, things would be bouncing back and forth. The replicas would be getting changed and the default is being set. So we fix this problem. If you're using HPA, the replicas config is ignored. Uh, more ambient work. Um, this is the bug that actually John Howard found when he disabled the DC, TCP traffic in the graph, it was also hiding the HTTP traffic. Um, so we fixed that bug. If you disable the TCP traffic view in the graph, the HTTP traffic is still visible. Uh, the mess page, when the mess, mesh page had an inaccessible cluster, uh, it, would be, it would throw errors. So we're making sure that inaccessible clusters does not screw up the mesh page. 
And finally, if you have authentication set up for Grafana and tracing, it will use that authentication when we're checking the versions of those two components uh, before we try to make a, an anonymous request. Now we're going through the authentication if it's configured. Uh, this is the big one that I, we, this isn't in this release, but it's a coming soon notification that we, we have to let people know about. Uh, there is a new KEP that we published uh, has to do with namespace discovery. The way namespace configurations are done today in Kiali, it's very confusing. It's very complicated. There's different ways to do things. We're simplifying it. And so that's coming down the pipe. So all the current mechanisms are now deprecated. This includes accessible namespaces setting. Um, as well as some other things. We had some includes and excludes. Um, there are several ways to configure namespace discovery in Kiali. And like I said, it, it was confusing and, and convoluted. So the simplification is we're removing all the current mechanisms and replacing it with a single set-based discovery selectors mechanism, which is similar to the way Istio does it. So we're actually um, doing the same thing as what Istio is doing. And in fact, the Istio discovery selectors is going to be our fallback defaults if a user does not configure discovery selectors in the Kiali config. Um, Kiali in multi-cluster mode will also support discovery selectors per cluster. So you can have in your multi-cluster scenario, if you have different namespaces, you can tell Kiali about those different namespaces per cluster. So again, this is coming soon. It's not in this release. There's a couple links here. This is the KEP link where we have the uh, proposal. And this is the current issue 7546 where that work is being done. So stay tuned for that. That's that's going to be coming in, well, pretty soon with maybe in, in the one or two sprint releases, we may have this. All right, so looking forward to the next sprint, you can see the epics in progress. Um, again, it's performance improvements is a big thing. Ambient, we're still working on ambient. Um, more features are coming. Bug fixes, if anybody has any problems when they're using ambient that you see problems in Kiali, please let us know because obviously ambient is still new. I don't think it's considered stable yet. I think it's beta in Istio. So Kiali is trying to keep up. So things may not work as expected. So we are expecting to get more ambient work done. And finally, the uh, pattern fly topology. That's coming soon. This is the, uh, we're currently using Cytoscape as our graph uh, technology, let's say. We're moving away from Cytoscape. We're trying to switch over to pattern fly. That work is nearing completion. So once that happens, we will switch over to the default of pattern fly. We'll still support site escape, at least in the near term. Um, but in the future, you would have to configure it to switch over to site escape. We're going to move over to pattern fly soon. And uh, these are just some of our backlog issues. Um, obviously, you can go to the Kiali repo and look at the list of issues, and you can get the full list. So. That's it for the demos, or uh, demo, the, actually the, the sprint slides. I am now going to shut down the recording, and then we can have a community discussion if anybody has anything that they want to bring up. So thanks.